Well, tonight, many of you owe the city of Columbia money, and soon the city will be coming for it. A WIS investigation finds Columbia has $1.8 million in unpaid parking tickets. Chief investigative reporter Chris Joseph sat down with parking leadership about that money and how the city plans to collect it. So the question, Chris, how did the city get to $1.8 million in unpaid tickets? Well, first off, Donnie, people just aren't good about paying their tickets. But the second problem is the city's ability to collect. It has holes. You can get a ticket, ignore the city's letters, and then potentially face no punishments. If you rack up $100 in tickets and fees, you could be towed. But right now, there is no other follow-up. Next fiscal year, you're going to be sent to collections. The meter expires. A ticket is left on the window and no one pays it. Columbia data shows that since March 2020, that process has repeated itself more than 39,000 times. That's $1.2 million of uncollected revenue, if you're counting. Add in 11,000 parking tickets for other violations worth $600,000, and then bring in all the tickets where people have overpaid, and Columbia has $1.8 million it hasn't collected for 50,000 parking tickets. We have emails that are pushed out the day after if we have your email on file. And if we do not, um, we mail out monthly citation statements based on DMV information we receive based off of your vehicle tag. Elle Matney is the director of the city's parking services. Her department does assess late fees and has vehicles towed, which brings all those fees back to the city. But the car only gets hauled off if the offender racks up $100 in tickets and fees. If I am just stopping by and I'm just driving through the city, get a ticket, and then I'm on my way to Charleston and you will never see me again, mm -hmm. is there any way to recoup that fee? Not today. Not today. Why not? Other than the information that we receive from the DMV notification, uh, we recognize that that's an opportunity for the department here in Columbia, and we're working towards um, further actions to collect that revenue. Our regular customers, you know, you can get up close to $1,500, $2,000 in outstanding citations. This week, she gave a presentation to the Columbia City Council about how her team will soon be using a collection service to get that money. Once the tickets hit two months old, they'll be sent to collections at the expense of the offender. She says the decision to go to collections was made in the last year. Columbia has been losing out on hundreds of thousands of dollars annually. What changed? Why, why just get on this in the last year? You know, again, it's, um, it's a process of, again, evaluating um, various opportunities in the department, and this one's made its way to the top. I mean, you know, again, the number is significant, um, and we're constantly looking at things that we could do more efficiently, and, you know, it's time-based. There's lots of projects, um, lots of asks in the department. Mayor Daniel Rickman supported the move to collections, but the decision doesn't need council approval. When the collections begin, there will be a ticking clock. State law creates a three-year window for the city to collect debt, meaning that for now, offenders could potentially wait out their tickets and get off scot-free. Main Street is the epicenter of unpaid tickets, and the three-year window was news to some of its patrons. No, I, I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. Like, that's actually, that's actually crazy. Because, I mean, then it, it adds to, like, what's the, what's the point of giving the ticket in the first place? Do you think you'd still pay it, knowing that now in hindsight? I think I would. I would, especially since I'm on camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Do you think you would have paid if you knew that? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Um, you, you know, we would hope that that would not be the intention of our parkers here in Columbia, keeping in mind that your vehicle, um, if you continue to park, um, could be subject to tow. 
Matney says the collections process will be up and running in the coming months. So Matney says if those recouped funds made it to the city, they can help pay for a whole series of potential projects. She pointed to maintenance and perhaps an overhaul of the meter system. Dondi. Okay, and I'm all paid up. And I'm saying that not just because I'm on camera, by the way. You can find out more information about Columbia's unpaid tickets near where you live. Kind of a neat little interactive map. Go to WISTV.com.